I'm Dr. Donald Homan, a board certified orthopedic surgeon, fellowship trained, and I specialize in joint replacements of the hip and the knee. So some of the things I do that are a little bit uh, unique around pain management involve uh, really trying to be ahead of pain even before you're going to have pain. So we start people with anti-inflammatory medicines, nerve medicines, um, you know, uh, we use uh, you know uh, Tylenol very very liberally uh, because these are all really important medicines that work at little different receptors in your brain and in your spinal cord and, and around the areas where you're going to have pain transmission and so we start to block those signals before you even have an insult that leads to those signals and uh, we continue that process before surgery we continue that process during surgery with a, a similar sort of pain regimen that we introduce into the knee joint and the tissues around the knee. And then we continue that process after surgery. And uh, I, I mentioned earlier some of the anesthesiologists that I work with, they're really skilled at doing a lot of these nerve blocks that have really made a big difference in my knee replacement patients. And this has really led to you know, excellent pain control for three, four days after surgery. Uh, oftentimes we're able to leave a catheter in place that, continue to, that can continue to uh, trickle pain medicine into the area uh, of the nerve innervation from part of the knee. And um, uh, people have done you know, really quite well. And uh, then we continue the multimodal pain management for even several weeks after surgery because it's a continuous process. Controlling all of those pain signals um, keeping all of that stuff under control and minimizing the amount of stress that your, your nerves and your brain see as a result of the surgery leads to people having a better long-term outcome. And so they, uh, they're able to rehab more effectively and more efficiently when they've got their anti-inflammatory and their nerve medicine and their pain control. It's, it's easier to rehab when you have all of those on board for a period of time afterwards. We have had uh, patients who have successfully gone through the process and, and have not required any narcotic pain medicines. So, uh, you know, their only real pain their only real painkiller has been Tylenol after surgery. Uh, so it's not uncommon for me to have people who go through the process and uh, don't don't take any of their narcotic pain medicines. Uh, they say, yeah, I just you know manage my pain with Tylenol. It's all I ever needed. So it, it works it works really quite well.